don't outsource your health. You understand? Don't outsource your health. Oh, oh, oh. Little update on the elimination diet I was doing. After three years of constant puking, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> like TMI, and having doctors blaming me for the problems I discovered last week that I was gluten intolerant, the second I eat it, I puke. They refused to make me take tests when I was sick every day for the past three years, claiming I was eating too much, which made me obsessed on calculating my intake to the point I was anxious to just eating. Thank God I've decided to join the community and do this diet. Papa Swolio, you literally just saved my life. One week gluten-free and I already lost five pounds. Can't wait to see what's in store for me in the years to come. That is fucking amazing. That's amazing. I don't even know what to say to that. That's just fucking fantastic. Good for you, Rosalie. Good for you. You see what happens when we're talking about doctors in the, med- in the medical community? So after three years of constant throwing up and having issues with gluten, the doctors were just saying, oh, you know, you're eating too much or eating too much. Seems like the quality of the food matters more than the quantity in many cases right there. Doesn't it? Doesn't it, fam? So worried about the quantity, worried about the quantity when you just cut out fucking gluten and then magic. Because doctors know so much about nutrition. They know so much about nutrition. They are just the experts of health care. Wrong sick care. Now, I'm not saying that you should ignore what all the doctors say, but you get multiple opinions, but you need to educate yourself. Don't outsource your health. You understand? Don't outsource your health. You need to pursue this aggressively for you. You can go to your doctor if you're having problems, but you shouldn't be depending on on your medical practitioner for like preventing all these problems. You know what I'm saying? Like it's your responsibility to learn, to educate and to put in the effort. So you avoid the complications that would maybe require you to have medication or require you to have issues. Like people don't take responsibility. They wait till they have a fucking problem and then go to the doctor and expect the doctor to be a nutrition expert. They're not. They barely get, they have, doctors need so much information in their fucking brains and they need to be so qualified in so many skills. And it's so challenging for them with insurance. And then like doctors are really fucking run ragged. It's really a, a shitty fucking system. And it's not the doctor's fault necessarily. They just are spread so fucking thin. They have so much insurance overhead and processing and fucking legal issues. And now people are complaining about fucking doctors talking about their weight. We talked about a lot. Doctors have their backs up against the fucking wall and they're cornered into this fucking system. That's just a pill pushing, um, addictive cycle. So it's not like the doctor doesn't want the best for you. It's just like, they don't necessarily have the time to build out your entire lifestyle habits. And that's where I come in. And that's where a lot of people that are trying to help people before it even comes to that. So good for you, Rosalie. I'm really proud of you and thank, thank, thank you so much for the the kind words and really happy the, to hear it. It's fucking fantastic. Skeletons on closets and making new deposits. I'm in my element. No Ollie's, you children popping.